All right, Coach, I just wanted to revisit last week a little bit. Um, on Wednesday, you had maybe your most complete game of the year, and then Saturday, probably what you would call a letdown. How do you kind of wrestle with that in your mind, being like, okay, we were really good on Wednesday, we obviously have the talent, and then Saturday just, just, just doesn't come together? How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, I think there's, uh, there's certain things that we have to get better at. You know, I would say we played a pretty good game against Eastern Michigan. We still had some things that we needed to correct. Every game, whether you win or lose, there's things you're going to be able to correct. And there's going to also be things, whether you, if you win it, there's going to be things that, uh, that you could have done better. And so, um, you know, uh, it, we're going to go through and, and uh, uh, work on the things that we're not very good at, try and get a little bit better at those. Excuse me, and try to really focus on, you know, playing to our strengths as much as we possibly can. Um, you know, those things that we really got to work on are the defensive things uh, to uh, and the defensive things in the rebounding uh, that has to get better. And because we had it, we were in good position against Buffalo and um, and uh, did not do a good job of getting a body on somebody. And then not only that, but the obvious, the other one was the defensive transition. We didn't uh, talk in defensive transition, gave them some open looks. Smith got hot in the uh, in the second half, and uh, when you combine that with uh, with our lack of rebounding, lack of being being physical inside, um, lack of talking, um, it was a perfect storm for them. We've talked kind of about the unrelenting schedule, and maybe that's just a testament to where the league is that everyone's kind of taking a step forward mm -hmm. each year. Can you kind of just comment on what you've seen since your time here in terms of what the teams have done to take a step forward and how mm -hmm. tough it is just day in and day out mm -hmm. to go and compete against another team from the map? Well, I think since I've been here, this is the toughest it's been. Uh, it's certainly uh, you have a lot of teams playing really well. There's 12 teams in the league, and and uh, you know there's been for the most part of the year six of them or five or six of them have been uh, close or in the top 100 or close to the top 100. And right now I think it's creeping up to where I think we have uh, maybe uh, nine or ten out of the 12 in the top 150. And uh, so that's been uh, uh, it makes it tough every night. And I mean, conference play is always going to be tough. It's always been tough since I've been here, um, but it's even tougher now. You got to come ready to fight, and there there is no gimmies. And you know, not that either, not that our team thought any of the one of those last week were gimmies at all. Um, I don't think we. You, you, I don't care who you are. You don't ever think that. Um, it's disappointing when you play a good team like Buffalo and you play a good 25 minutes, 26 minutes. And then um, uh, aren't, and they throw their punch, and we don't react to it. We talked to you and Savannah after Wednesday about having a, a solid game, and then mm -hmm. she got the start on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, can you just kind of speak to, to the growth? I mean, just in terms of the eye test, she just looks so much more comfortable, more mm -hmm. willing to kind of get in those kind of battles. Right. Is she starting to trend towards the player you thought she could be? I know she came from a really small high school, so that's a tough right. adjustment. But I mean, can you just kind of evaluate her play of late? Well, Savannah's a talented young lady. I mean, she gives us a presence inside, a presence inside that can score, uh, that's, a, that's a, a threat uh, to put the ball in the basket. Uh, that makes people, it makes it harder to guard our guards that way. Um, and so, uh, you know, she's, she's got her things she's still working on and she still needs to get better at, but I certainly think she started looking more and more comfortable last week. And um, I, that's something that people will have to guard now. And uh, I think we, they, you know, we didn't, ha we didn't have, that wasn't much of an option down there before. Um, that's nothing against people. It's just, she's a good option. She's a great option. And so um, she's a good, big, si you know, big kid. And, um, and so we're, we're excited about where she's at right now. And then Kendall, she's earned a couple of starts lately. She's kind of a versatile player, and she plays pretty hard defensively. And then on the offensive end, she can get down large, she's kind of pick and pop. She's got that mid-range game a little bit. Mm -hmm. What does she bring to, to the table for you guys? Well, I mean, she she's capable of scoring. She struggled uh, against Buffalo a little bit, and uh, she can't let that affect you know some other things that she's capable of doing too. But uh, certainly, she's able to stretch out the defense and, and do some things. And and uh, we we need her. She's. Usually one of our best talkers. I think she could have talked better on, you know, against Buffalo. But um, uh, we need her to continue to do that. We need her to uh, have have no conscience and uh, and uh, to take really work really hard to take good shots because she's she can certainly knock them down. CMU and NIU this week, obviously a combined 10 and 0 start to Mac play. We talked about the unrelenting schedule. We'll focus on just CMU for now. Mm -hmm. Knowing you, you've probably already looked at the film a little bit already. What are we going to see from the Chippewas on Wednesday? Well, I mean, it starts with the point guard. 
starts with Hudson, and, uh, and she's not the only one, but she certainly is the, the beginning of the sentence and sometimes the end of the sentence and, and all that. She's, she can score. She does a lot of things for them. and um, uh, So we'll have to – we have to get after her right away. But they, they can all shoot it from all five positions. We can't get caught, you know, hanging back in the lane. They will let it fly and, and uh, love to push it. And, uh, and, so, and that's, a, that's a tough atmosphere to play in. So they really test you. And so we'll we'll uh, we'll have our hands full on Wednesday. All right, thank you, Coach. Good luck this week. Thanks, Caleb.